Hello everybody and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. It's Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, if you saw my last little quick post there, I'm having trouble connecting my live video. So we're just going to do a desk view today. No problem. I didn't want you to miss this awesome card I have to share with you. So just give a few seconds here for you guys to pop in. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. Okay. If you're here with me, say hello. I've got my computer up and running so I can see the comments. We'll just see how this is gonna go. Okay, it looks like it might be working now. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> hello and welcome. Let's start over again now that the computer seems to be, or the internet seems to be working with me. So today we're gonna share, I'm going to share with you a really fun, easy pop-up card. So hands up if you're watching and you watch these pop-up cards and are kind of like, uh, no, not for me. Uh, they're too hard. That's me. Okay. I love them, but I get a little bit intimidated. So today I'm going to share with you a really quick and easy pop-up card. This is one that I saw on a fellow demonstrator's website. Um, so Allison Okamitsu. And it's super fun to make. So hello, Sherry. Hello, Bev. Um, welcome. So this is the Santa Express Suite, and this is what we're going to use today in the, in the video. And you can find this guy, this suite, on page 18 of the mini catalog. So here's the stamp set and the dies. And then here is the entire suite. So you can get all of this for $146.75 in Canada. And you get the stamp, the dies, some embossing folders, some trim, some envelopes and cards, memories and more cards, some embellishments and paper. It's an awesome deal and it's one that you'll be creating with so much fun. Okay. Now what I wanted to share with you was one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up's new products. Hello Gail, welcome. So a lot of, they're doing this a lot now and I think it's so awesome. Here are the Santa Train dies. And this is one sheet of the designer series paper and check this out so we can match that one we can match this one so all of these trains can be cut out using the die and then you've got a pre-colored pre-cut ready to go embellishment for your card and we'll flip this one over here's another sheet of that paper and we've got the same thing we've got this cute little um, we'll call it a caboose and again, we can cut the one out with the presents. We can cut this guy out here with the deer. So you see what I'm saying? This is like so fun and easy. It makes creating so quick and easy. So we're gonna use a couple of these on today's card. So I'm just gonna flip this, take these off to the side. And we'll get started. So this is a card that I made with my hostess club last week. And it was a lot of fun to create. So I wanted to share it with all of you here too. Now speaking of hosts club, I do have openings for the club starting in November. If anybody's interested, it's a monthly club. We have a lot of fun. We make a lot of fun creations. And this one starting in November, you'll have two options. You can do it um, online. So from the comfort of your own home, you'll get your kits every month to create with full instructions or you can join me here at my house in Trail, and we'll create the cards together in an in-person class each month. So if you're interested, uh, message me and I can send you all the information. It was also sent out in my newsletter this afternoon. All right, let's get started. So here is our card base. This is Poppy Parade, and it's four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I've gone ahead and scored it in the middle at five and a half. So standard, normal card base. So we'll go ahead and we'll give that a fold. And you'll want to have a bone folder if you're going to recreate this card on your own. Okay. 
there's our card. Now, I've got some more of that fun Santa Express Designer Series paper here. And this one, oops, this one here measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, aren't those trees just so fun and whimsical? And then on the back, of course, we've got some beautiful snowflakes as well. And then I've got a four by five and a quarter piece here of this pretty poppy parade with the snowflakes and stars. And on the back, there's some little scenery ones. So this is, you can make so many different cards with this scene one, but for now, we're going to use the front of the poppy parade. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take and are going to attach the larger piece of designer series paper and four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's going to cover the entire thing. And this is the inside of our card. We're going to attach it up here on the top. And to do that, I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue because then I've got a little bit of give if I need to with my adhesive. Okay. So I'm just going to line that up. It's going to cover this whole piece right here oops see what i mean this is why i wanted the multi-purpose i want to make sure it's nice and lined up easier when there's no camera <laughs> camera over okay there we go so we've got that designer series paper all inside the front part of the card and it still folds so make sure you haven't glued over top of your fold line the next thing we're going to do is create the pop-up mechanism. And to do that, I'm going to bring in my score pal. Let me just make sure you guys can see this. Okay, and I've got a piece of poppy parade here that measures four and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to have the four and a half long side up here along the top. Let's get my coffee out of the way. And we're going to score it at one inch. Let's just go ahead and do this while I tell you. So one inch, two inch, three inch, and four. And then we're get, we are left with a half inch tab here. Let's get that out of the way. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna, hello Tina and welcome. We're going to fold on all of the crease lines to create a tube. So I'm just folding these all in like that. So we're going to create this tube just like that. Okay. So again, let's use our bone folder so we make sure that's nice, crisp folds. I'm just going to score it on all of them. Okay. So once you have that done, then the next thing you're going to do is put some adhesive on this tab right here okay and then we're going to glue that okay so we're making sure that that tab is on the inside of our tube okay so now we've got this square tube mechanism okay so let's bring our card back in. Now this part is what we're going to do next is we're going to take and we're going to make sure we see where that tab is on the bottom. That's going to be our bottom. Okay. So we're going to put some glue on here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach this. Oops. If I can do this with my camera over top here again. We're going to attach that right up to the score line. We don't want to put it over the score line. We still want our card to fold. So just right up to the score line. Okay. And it should be flush on either edge of the card base. And then we can go ahead, test it, make sure your card's still going to open. And then just press that down inside. Okay. So here's what your card looks like if it's standing up on end. Okay. So what we want to do now is we're going to push this forward and we're going to put adhesive right here on this back panel. Okay. And then when we make that back into the box, we're going to push this card front up and we're going to adhere that together. 
Okay. So now we have the card assembled and you can see what's going to happen when we open this card, we're going to close it. So this is the front and when you open it, no, nope. <laughs> that is not the front. <laughs> this is the front and when we open it, we have the pop up. So let me just grab my scissors here because I noticed I cut my piece a little bit long and I don't want to have that piece showing. So we'll just trim off this extra designer series paper. Now, have you guys made this card before? This is awesome. So <clears throat> we've got this card assembled just like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to decorate up the front a bit. This piece I mentioned is four by five and a quarter designer series paper, and we're going to attach that straight to the front of the card. So, we can, oh goodness, Don't tell me this is going to run out now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we've got just a bit of a piece of glue there. And we're going to attach that to the front of the card. And I kept the front of my card really simple. Like I said, this is a quick and easy pop-up card. So you could get extravagant in both outside um, and inside. But like I mentioned, this is going to make this quick and easy. I've cut out a circle. And this is just from the Layering Circles dies. Looks like it's about three inch circle. Let me just double check that for you in case you want to make this on your own. So yeah, it's just two and seven eighths. We're going to go ahead and attach that to the front of the card. Centered um, horizontally, but more to the top vertically. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a three quarter inch, or maybe it's one inch. <laughs> three quarter inch, I was right. Three quarter inch by four inch piece of mint macaron. Now ahead of time, just because I wanted to speed this video up a bit, um, I stamped the Merry Christmas. So this is from the Santa's Delivery stamp set and I stamped Merry Christmas with shaded spruce. So this is the beautiful shaded spruce color that I've used. Um, I stamped that on the right hand edge of this four inch strip of ma mint macaron. And I am going to upload this video to YouTube and to my blog. So you'll be able to find all the measurements and all of the products I used in there. So don't worry if you're, if you're missing this and you want to recreate it, it'll all be available to you really easily. Okay. So we've got that attached across. Now for the inside of the card, we've got this piece here, which measures four by four and a quarter. And I've already gone ahead, just like I did with the front one, and I've stamped that with the special delivery just for you stamp set here from the Santa's Delivery. And again, I've used the beautiful shaded spruce. So let's go ahead, we're gonna attach that to the front, and then we're gonna do some fun die cutting and make this pop-up card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. So we got the card open and this is just going to go right here in the bottom. Center it on all four sides. Just like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to set, this is our card. This is the majority of our card is done. Now we just get to fancy it up and you can see how easy that pop up is. So in order to fancy this card up today, we are going to use my mini, my mini boss, and we're going to use that designer series paper I showed you earlier. So I've got my plates here and we've got this cute little Santa riding his train. And I've just, I've just quickly cut that from the designer series paper so that it would fit in my machine here. And we're going to take that coordinating die. Layer it on the top here. Okay, I think that looks right. So where do I move? Okay, and then we're going to use a post-it note to hold it in place. And 
and then we'll wheel that one through. Hopefully I don't wiggle the desk too much here for you guys. Okay, let's remove that post-it note and then we've got this perfectly die cut train already colored and ready to go. So we'll set that over here. I am going to need that tree so I'm going to keep that handy. And then I'm going to use do the same thing with this little caboose and the caroling reindeer. He's so adorable. So again we'll just sit this right on the image and line it up nicely. We use that same post-it note. Just stick that on. And then we'll die cut it out. So for those of you joining me here live right now, let me know, have you ever created a card like this? Have you seen one like this? Um, I was really excited when I found it on Allison's um, site because it's just, it's so cute and it's so easy. All right, so there's our die cutting. So we've got those two pieces coordinatingly cut out of the designer paper all ready to go for us. So first thing, let's create, finish the front of our card. And I'm just going to simply put Santa in his train right there smack in the middle using a few Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, so we don't need a ton. These are super sticky. Oh, Tina, you've seen it. You'll have to give it a try. It is so fun and easy to make. Okay, so we'll just go like this and we'll just stick our Santa right in the center of the circle, just like that. Now for the inside, this is our pop-up mechanism right here. So what I'm gonna do is take our train, our caboose here, Look at that cute ho 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 paper on the back. I love it. And we're just going to take a bit of this glue and just really put a little bit right along the bottom. And then when we open this up, we're going to stick our caboose. And I want it to be on a bit of an angle. This is going to be a fun. He's going on quite the ride here. Now the key is to make sure that anything doesn't fit off the edge here. Um, because you don't want it to go beyond because then it won't fit in your envelope. So make sure everything is flush to the edges. Okay, so there's our first thing. Now the second thing I want to do, I don't want to have all this empty red space here. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to quickly fussy cut this really fun tree here. That is also from the designer series paper. So I'm just going to make that snow. I don't want it to be quite as long. And this doesn't have to be super, you know, difficult. We're just going to cut it down like this. And then, yes, I do want both trees. So I'm going to fussy cut around this one here. Just like this. It's almost looking like a cactus the way I'm cutting it out, but that's okay. I'll just give that a quick. Like so. Notice that I'm, I know if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me say this, but I'm turning the paper and not my scissors. That makes it really a lot easier to fussy cut. So there's the tree. And then I want to put the tree right here beside our caboose. So just a little wee bit of glue along the bottom. And this glue really is being stubborn tonight. I think it's almost out. Maybe it is out. <laughs> Okay, what's happening here? Nope, it just does not want to come out of that. So we're going to use just a wee bit of stamp and seal. I think I've come to the end of my liquid glue. So I just got a little bit there on the edge and we're just going to stick this in here. Now it's a little long, so you know, rather than fiddle with it, I'm just going to trim it down. So that can go right in here like that. Okay, 
So here is our card. So we can see this is the cute little front. And then when we open it up, we have this fun pop-up inside. So the last thing, of course, we do need a little bit of bling, especially at Christmas. Everything should sparkle. So we're going to use some of the adhesive back stars that come with the Santa Express suite. Get a huge sheet of them. There's tons on here. And we're just going to go ahead and add a few to this green space over here because I don't want all that green, empty green space. So, whoops, these are just flying everywhere here. There we go. Oh, so there we've got three on the front. And then when we pop it open in the inside, I'm going to add a, one more right here to the center just to give it a little bit of sparkle on the inside as well. So there we have it. There is our super quick and easy pop-up card. I love this design because it's not intimidating. It's very doable. There's no crazy measurements and um, it's super cute to make. So I hope that you've enjoyed my video today. I apologize that my camera streaming wasn't working and I wasn't able to uh, talk to you face to face. However, um, at least I got to share this fun card with you. So thank you so much. As I mentioned, I will be uploading this to YouTube, our video, and I'll also be posting this card with the measurements and instructions um, to my blog. So you'll get that too. It should be up there um, sometime later this evening. Okay, there it is. I can't wait to see any cards that you create using this. So be, sh be sure to share them in my VIP page. Um, I'd love to see what you create. Have a wonderful Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing you guys all again next week. Cheers!